Now, the first mistake I have for you guys is, is what I refer to as the floating hand syndrome. Now, when you're doing your back pose, our goal is to fully flare our lats and our hands to look the exact same on both sides. That symmetry needs to be the same from left to right. So if you look in the picture I have above, you'll notice that in both these examples, one hand is slightly higher than the other. Now, for example, if you're battling it out with somebody and they know how to pose their back a little bit better than you do, maybe you get bumped down one spot and they get bumped up a spot just from this minor mistake. So definitely keep an eye out. This is a problem I see in the NPC and a little bit in the IFBB. And then you can tell in the picture I have above, this guy's back is phenomenal. Just doesn't know how to pose his back perfectly yet. Now the next mistake I have for you is not necessarily a mistake, but it's not being lean enough for the show. Now everybody's kind of made this mistake, but if this is your first show you're prepping for, in the pictures I have above, the guy to the right is about 10 weeks out from a show, and the guy to the left is about 16 to 20 weeks out from the show. If you want to be in that top five, you've got to get shredded. And when you're not lean enough, it doesn't matter how good your posing is, you're not going to look good from any angle, so get shredded. Another common posing mistake is to hit bodybuilding poses when you're doing the men's physique division. Now, if you look at the picture I have above, it kind of looks like a bodybuilding front lat spread. This guy looks phenomenal. He should be hitting a men's physique front pose. Unless the judges tell you otherwise, stick to your men's physique fundamentals, your front pose, your back pose. You usually look pretty funky unless you do it perfectly. Next up, I have the feminine hand syndrome. Now what I recommend to do is always make a light fist. Not a death fist, but a light fist. And if you look at the picture to the right, his hands look very feminine. And if you look at the picture to the left, his hands just look a little bit funky. Just being very nitpicky, but if you're going to do a 12-week cut, try to get as much right with your posing as possible. Now the next posing mistake I have for you is not necessarily a posing mistake, but if you've been to a few NPC shows or have competed at an NPC show, there's always that one guy that shows up that looks pretty good but does not get a tan. If you do not get a tan, I promise you you're not going to place well. Now if you look at the picture I have above, this guy looks pretty damn good. Probably would have placed in the top five if he would have just paid for the tan. Now if you think you're dark enough, you're not. Usually the darker the better because when those lights hit you, you're not going to wash out all those shreds in your sides. Everything's going to pop under the lighting. Guys, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. Until next video, stay half juicy. We out.